Finally. Finally. <laughs> Finally what? Somebody else has a background. I'm thinking this is the best thing since sliced bread. You get to be artistic, put whatever you want. It's simple. And everyone's looking like they're in a living room that's dull. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. There we go. I love that other one where you had, what was the you had game of noun, I think? You had one other word? Oh, yeah. I like that that's one. That's Hermes. That's Hermes. Trimogestus. Uh, you mean that one? Yeah. Like, don't you think it, we should also have framing, right? We should have the ability to put frames. And there's so much, so many things that these software programs just don't do that seem sort of pathetic considering you know they got they got the base here now you could people want to do up their screen you know well i'm, I'm sure zoom's got a fair bit of cash now after the the lockdown and you think so <laughs> presumably got gazillions in the bank account but i, I do know that uh, i was talking to some the other day that they're buying all sorts of new features so i'm, I'm sure i'm sure it's coming Sure is coming. So what was uh, what was your connection with that video? How did that get going? Well, the thing is that, you know, as you've said many times, you know, maybe once you're dead, people watch your videos. So that's uh, Chris is now dead. Oh, is he? Passed over, whatever, whatever phrase you want to call. Uh, but now that was 2018, that video. So that's Steve. I met Steve 2017 because that's when I was talking to Chris and Steve at that time as well. We didn't have much interaction with people. Um, but he found Chris, they were at the same age, roughly, and, and they got on and and Steve published uh, on Amazon Chris's book. So he did that work for him. But yeah, hardly anybody watched it. <laughs> well, so and that's, that's just, Chris. you know, that's the Chris. Chris is on the left. Yeah, that's Chris on the left. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. The guy I knew for sixteen years. So basically, um, I've got no idea how they met. I can't even. Well, somehow they met, and I'm just finishing Chris's book on matter and consciousness and, and the hierarchy and the whole lines and the fact that we are the universe and that the universe is actually one solid state, gigantic human. Mm. If you look at, if, if, you were the, if you were like a galaxy looking at us, you'd think we were atoms or whatever we concept of atoms. And then if you look at, but then what Chris is saying is that the non-physical aspects of the universe are inside us. So we're the physical aspects of of what we see, you know, if, if you looking down at it, so we, we, when we look up, it looks like as if there's nothing there. Like it's just emptiness, but actually it's full of stuff. It's a plenum, not a vacuum. And when you look down, like to our cells, everything else, it looks physical, but actually if you're, a, if you're a, an atom looking up at the human, there's nothing there. So it's the same thing. So that has implications, especially if you apply quantum physics to everything, so everything's connected, everything. Um, also in that book that he wrote, I was reading it today, I forgot about this, but he was saying the energy is um, order and movement. It's not, it's not, it's not a thing. It, it's the relationship of order and movement. So the idea that um, everything is moving all the time. And order is, is what energy is. So yeah, I mean, it's all stuff that we talked about that I've forgotten about. But uh, I think the implications of what he's saying is that the non-physical aspects of the universe that are there are inside us. And it's all inside us. And if you act, and, and what he's saying is that in his lifetime, which is 
partly errors, but he said that we went from you, you consciousness, which is knowing yourself, to um, nature consciousness. You know, oh, sorry, you consciousness to humanity. So basically, human being aware of other humans living in the conscious and in, in our, in our consciousness happened after the Second World War, the UN and the IMF, all, all that stuff happened after the Second World War. So we became one conceptual human family. So that was, we became aware of other people. So that's, you're a human, or you're part of a human family, and you're part of nature. That was Silent Spring, you know, Rachel Carson, all that stuff in the 60s and 70s. And then we became aware of the planet, Richard Attenborough, and all of that stuff, David Attenborough, sorry. So these layers of consciousness, and then basically what's next after that is solar consciousness and galactic consciousness. Yep, waiting for you guys. I think what he did was he wrote it in a very simple way that that's, that makes sense. Even that, I don't know if, you, when I was a kid, I remember writing my name, my address, Earth, you know, Milky Way, whatever it was, you know. See if a child can get into that whole, that whole conceptual architecture. But the idea of um, accessing it inside ourselves that that can be activated just by re releasing layers of this conceptualization that that's interesting. I like the way you, and that's interesting. Yeah, I'm really. Are you about to fall asleep? Well, it is. It's, it's 11, 11 p.m. here. How come uh, you need a light? Do I? Yeah. I've got a light behind me. No, you need a light in front at you. Uh, in front of me is uh, the window. So unfortunately, I can't provide that right now. I, it's quite late, and I've I've been on a call with some of these highly energized um, people who talk too quickly, uh. and I find highly energized people who talk too quickly. But I'm going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to create that. We're going to create an NFT. We're going to do this. We're going to create all of that. And hey, no one's ever thought of this. It's, yeah, yeah. People thought of this in the '60s. What are you talking about? That whole stuff, I, I get sort of tired of that. <laughs> yeah, there are limits. There are, there are limits. limits. So, how's, yeah, go on. About what? <laughs> about anything. About anything. anything? Um, do you know what I'm doing? You might want to do this. You got like, let's say, all of these people that you know. And how many of them like, like, have you got, okay, these are potential clients. These are potential allies. These are potential funders. These are potential, like you, your category system for your relationships, for defining who they are. I don't do that with anybody. I mean, I, I literally, it's interesting you say that because I think I was writing today about this. I'm not, I'm not really that focused on many people at all <laughs> it's, it's like the guy i live with because i'm paying him rent i'm talk. i'm interested in you now because we're talking together but you know not that you know i don't look at other people's clients or anything else just they're, they're just there doing their thing you know is it because i th think at least what i'm going through right now it's like at some point you have too many people wanting your attention, right? It, it, at some degree, it may or may not happen. Maybe it's always that way or it'll never happen. But at some point, let's say you got like a bunch of people that are all of a sudden they, they want your attention. And so then you got to go, okay, I've got, I'm full. I'm full. I don't have any leftover room. I've got like nothing. And so the person goes, well, wait a sec. I really want your attention. So then, okay, I'll give you something. Okay, well, what are you going to give me? 
said, no, what do you want? Well, okay, like, I don't know, $300. Okay, how much is that going to get me? Oh, yeah, it's going to get you 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes. Well, why do you want my attention? Okay, well, I heard you're smart. I heard you can give me, like, the, the answer. You can just, like, whatever it is, boom, whatever the next step is, whatever it is, you're good at it. I've heard that. So all of a sudden, you got, like, 100 people who want to talk to William. They're willing to pay $300 for 10 minutes for you just to go that way well um, um, it's never happened to me and it's well, not of course not because you haven't designed it you haven't set it up to be that way yeah exactly but, well what i've got like i mean the funny thing is i've got this universal business framing system you fucking like go down from the atom all the way up and you can you can define exactly what it is and what it isn't and then put sort of like, well, it's this, it's that. If it's this, it's that. And that's the only thing missing from you, for me, for all of us, in a sense of a real container to house our gifts. So we can charge money and then get the cash flow, cash flow, cash flow going. <laughs> Open the vault. It's just like rearranging your, your little word formations a little bit. And all of a sudden, boom, you're a different character. But you've got... Two million bucks to get your freaking game going. Well, I'm I'm a different. Uh, I'm just aware I've got to keep quiet because. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's eleven p.m. Okay, I, I here. Didn't quite catch that. I'm worried. It's, 11, it's very late here. <laughs> and I'm going to sleep. Timing is everything. Anyway, but, uh, I'm I'm now. I forget if, if it is you who talked about this. I've got a, a glass wall. I'm talking to two people, one of whom is very, very wealthy, independently rich, and the other one who has been in Hollywood circles. And they want to sort of drag me into their world. In which case, in a week, I could be like, bye, see you, see you, see you later. I'm off. I'm in Puerto Rico talking to Jose, who's got 60 million and wants me to wants me to create a game for his toilet, whatever. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Because in those worlds, they've got no idea. You could just say, yeah, yeah, I can do that. And they like you. They say, hey, get his man champagne. Get his man champagne. He's he's called cool, this guy, eh? Yeah? He's he's very funny, yeah. He's good. You want money? Hey, there you go. Here's fifty thousand. Okay. Cheers, mate. Thanks. It's it's like <laughs> so the whole idea of setting up systems to, you know, liberate mankind. I don't know. <laughs> well, but the thing is, you're coming from the point of view of you, Mister Man in present moment now, who can make magic happen, fine and dandy. We're talking about the whole system here. We're, we're not just talking about you. So many people, they personally reference everything. And the things I'm saying are sort of like a little bit bigger than one individual. It's like species level kind of stuff, right? But you're a part of it and that fractals into the whole other framing system. But it's just like us creating our own methodology to do commerce together in a way that's transparent and actually fair for people. I think that it's all in play and and that for me I'm going back to this when one person breaks the two hour marathon and one person is this and this and there's a new kind of school and then suddenly it's replicated everywhere and all that stuff. I mean Rudolf Steiner's Waldorf schools are everywhere. Uh, it's one guy. Yeah. Uh, Montessori everywhere. Um kindergartens, whatever. But um, I just don't think that we are accessible yet. That's all. Mm. I think we're both operating at different time cycles here. You're winding down. I'm winding up. Yeah, because you were midday. I'm like, I've just, I've been in this call listening to the same, I've listened to the same people for six months 
and it's 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 trying to herd these, you know, people who are very people who are very used to psychedelics and who've seen it, right? They've seen it all, trying to get them to sort of agree on something <laughs> to, to to do anything. Just let's, let's, fuck it now. He might who's have going to take, who's going to take charge here to say, shall we do this? Might have something for you. Um, me and Noah are working on a chat room prototype that you can put a, a time limit on it, a goal, be a step in a process. So it's not just one, but there's like seven in a row. And then there's a way of putting ideas in and then going, what do you support? So sort of like putting a little marker for the, the ideas that would support. Because what you're saying is the main problem, right? These teams get together, a lot of big egos, a lot of brilliant people, but they never learn to work together because they don't know how to come to that one idea and then and then I'll agree to do it and then I'll do their different roles on it, right? And that's what Luciel is in the middle of attempting to get 12 teams to do that. And so the, the condo types are there for the movement from one chat room to another chat room. So if we start in a brainstorm, that's an hour. We brainstorm all the best ideas. Then the next one, we have a critical analysis and now you're looking, okay, well, let's, let's go down to three ideas. Now it's running with the three ideas and as we're designing each group of three groups of three groups of designing and then four crescendo we we fix the issues. And then we've got our idea. And now we're gonna put the whole thing behind the idea. But just to do it in chat rooms, so it's not like this where we're you know, a lot of people can chat at the same time, right? In the chat room. When you're in a zoom, it's only kind of one at a time kind of stuff. And Noah's doing your software stuff, is he? Yeah. Cool. So we've got like, we've already built it and we have like, we got about three different pieces, one multiple chat rooms. And we got one where you're design, you're really defining the chat room. And that's where like my stuff comes in, where it's like, you're really getting defined as to what you're going to talk about and how you're going to talk about it and what the outcome is going to be. Then a way to kind of like see all these multiple chats going on. Pretty cool. Like just, just the two of us in six months and four months, he had a broken heart because he was gone. But I knew the designing and he's doing the building. And we've got, you know, we're this close to something pretty freaking cool. And so we've got two, Luciel's going to test it. And uh, this, the hub factor, Lori Renton's going to test it. So if you wanted to get a group of people, you're involved in some group, you could set up a test. Well, it's probably, I mean, I'm the, the, the least useful person in, in that group, but I'm in, uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I can put you in touch with. Uh, you met Lumi yet? Who? Lumi. Lumi. I mean, you might be the least useful, but maybe you're all building a garden and you show up with a shovel and they never seen one before. You know, you're not so useful anymore. Oh, I, I'm. I am. I'm. I'm. I'm the. I'm the sort of the overgrown garden room. They go, "What's that?" I'm just. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just like. A, a, I came on today, like two hours late. And there's a guy in Germany who's very, oh, great, Graham's arrived. Okay, he, he helps us really ground things and make it really simple, you know. And I'm saying, oh, thanks. Like, what are you talking about? And they're just, blah, we're talking about this. And man, everyone's like, very excited about blah, blah, blah. <laughs> is it okay, group? so what is it? What is it? What? 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 <laughs> ah, dear. Well, yeah, so anyway, more than two yeah. people in a room. Well, my, my next, uh, well, I, th I think it's going to happen is that I'm going to be, uh, well, my, my, this, my friend says, you know, he wants me to come to Puerto Rico, which is, which is one of the most unusual questions to be asked. Do you want to come to Puerto Rico? It's well, <laughs> not really, but uh, I, I, I mean, I just don't know. I'm just letting go. I'm, I've, I've, I've redesigned the Game of Now website. You can go to it now. Oh, yeah. Gameofnow.com. Game okay. You can have a laugh with that. <laughs> Took me a day. Yeah, websites don't take that much long. Uh, 
Nice. Does it work? Is it? Is it? It should be purple, yeah. It's. I would say it's purple. Magenta. It's magenta. Yeah. Which is exactly the same as my background here. So I wrote that, and. Uh, I thought that will do. At the time of writing 2021 by the dominant Gregorian calendar, this is the most recent website of the hundreds of websites I've created for the game of now. Hundreds. TGONN, since the idea came to me in January 26, 2006. Hundreds of websites? Oh, yeah. Hundreds. Hundreds. That's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, in an aisle seat somewhere above the North Sea in the early afternoon, heading towards what we currently call Sweden. I've described TGON in hundreds of different ways, hundreds again. I've played it hundreds of times with other, not thousands, but other people in other places all over the world. I played with a cat, a dog, bees, wasps, and other non primates. And I played it so often alone, if there is such a thing, it has become my life. So, what is the game of now? What are the rules? How do you win? Why the capital O? What do you win? Why has a three letter word caused so much controversy? Is there really a playful way to live with the joy and power of presence? Please now click on the play button to take you to a page where these questions and others you most likely haven't thought of yet, you silly twit, may be answered to various levels of satisfaction. I had a little ad lib. <laughs> and here we go. Rules. If you arrived here from pressing play on the homepage without reading the text, your future self may need long-term therapy. Excellent condition. Rules, no rules. I don't know about you, but if you are reading these words, then most likely you are of a similar opinion to me. The current game we call Life on Earth should, could be a whole lot more fun, very much so. Imagine if and healthy for a lot more people, animals, insects, plant life, bacteria, the list goes on. We don't like the rules, and we can't wait four years to vote in another bunch of unconscious sociopaths to you know the drill. Some people are having a great time. Others are being shot at, dying in their thousands, or living in a permanent state of anxiety. You know the rest. Thousands, if not millions of people are spend a lot of time creating solutions, but we don't seem to be getting anywhere near utopia for any time soon. However, as soon as one person does something really extraordinary, Maybe it could all change. And perhaps that person is me. Yes, finally someone knows about me. No, I'm not building up to a sales pitch like you. I'm so bored with the marketeers and their manipulations. However, there is some truth in that previous exclamation because when one of us does something we did not think possible, then it immediately becomes possible for everyone else. 100 monkeys, right? For example, the four minute mile and two hour marathon barriers have both now been broken. What we previously thought were limitations no longer are. And how may that apply to other aspects of our lives together on earth if we really imagine an experiment with limitations, adapting gravity at will so we can fly, instant manifestation, telepathic communication, the norm, portals to other dimensions available on request, tons of money coming into Captain Sweep and William Graham, Arthur C. Clarke was right. Psychokinesis, precognition, clairvoyance, and all becoming normal for everyone? What fun. In order to access that, send this much money to Captain Sweep, and things will go well for you. Thank you very much, William Graham. Another play button. Right! Play. I like it. Simple and then one step at a time. If I had two tongues, they'd be, they'd be in both cheeks right now. If you're reading a translation of what, then you most likely will be confused. No matter, confusion is cool and perhaps confusing is all we do, as is a sense of humor. If you don't have one of these, given these times and what's coming, good luck to you. To get to the point, <laughs> Here are not the rules, guidelines, and how to play the game of now. If you play regularly and play with full attention, it will change your stupid life right now. There are no predefined rules or objectives to TGON, although that could be said to be already to be a rule. Hmm. When players gather and are ready to play, just to remind you, that could just be you. 
They simply ask, what is the game of now, idiots? Now answer that question as imaginatively and courageously as possible, holding back probably on the insults. Four, that's all, folks. That's it? Holy shit, that's simple. If you are only partially awake, full of creativity, mental agility, and loving enthusiasm, the above is all you need. But if you don't, you may have to press this play button. Keep going. I'm going to press Bob. Play gameofnow.com. Play at gameofnow.com. I'm going to send my email in because I'm going to play this game. Okay. Hello. In a call. I'm in a call. How's that having someone else read your stuff? It's fine because it. Uh, it's funny how people you, you you put in words that weren't that but they weren't there. Just I just a little bit. You were ad living a wee bit, pretty well. Being a little bit rude. I think it. I think it was. I think it was enough. I think it just sort of. Because the whole point is is, is something to do with the website of the words. It's to do with people just having a bit of enjoyment and contact to me, and that's it. Because I don't really need it. But I just, I'm just now satisfied with myself. Okay, it's out there. I send people towards it if they go. This guy's interesting. <laughs> I'll talk to him. That's it. Well, you know what? If I actually, this, I'm, I'm, I'm going to suggest something to you. Because I noticed something with me. Where is it here? If I put you, the only people to get my real attention are people that I think are clients. They get the best. And so if I write down your name and Game of Now as my client, then the wizard can make shit happen. Otherwise, the wizard doesn't make shit happen. And we seem to be doing, we're always freaking making media. Like, it's got to be doing something. I mean, neither is it doing anything with it, but I am putting in the very secret plan. And we have done probably over 20 of these. Like, we actually have a show, you know? No one's watching it, and we yeah, don't... It, it's like, um, this is, this is the, you know, like, Two other people the past three weeks have decided that I'm their client, and I'm like, I'm not your hey, client. Who are you? That's you. That you need no like one, a thousand got, people. A thousand I've no, people. I've got no interest in being your client or anyone else's client. No. Okay. But if it works for you, then fine. You I mean you're free to say what you want, and I'm free to say, well. Well, no, but what, what implies with the client is it I'm helping you. I'm not looking for you to help me. I'm helping you. I don't want help. I don't want anyone's help. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I'm looking at the screen. I'm looking at myself. <laughs> I'm no, looking that's... at my camera and going, what? Why is it people want to help me? I'm not asking for help. Oh because they see that you're in such a precarious situation. <laughs> They're going, this guy needs help, man. Holy <laughs> shit, does he need help? I don't need no. help. Huh? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, so then what I could put you at is... Well, if, I'm not, if I don't need help, I'm not a client, what, what, what am I going to well, well, There's six other... There's, you're either a client a student, a facilitator, a teacher, an administrator, or an originator. I think maybe you're an originator. Well, I would say so, yeah. Because I would think like in the School of Conscious Communication, if I was going to put you somewhere, I would put you in the originator situation. That's, they get the most freedom, they do what they want, they get what they want, they're just, they're inventing something new. So they're just, that's it. See, I see myself as an originator. I don't want to be a teacher. I don't want to be a facilitator. I can facilitate. I can teach. But I want to invent things. I want to build something. So it's like, how do we, how do we see each other? To me, in the shared knowledge community, it's like, how do we see each other? And how do we know what the others are working on? And then how do we know what gifts they have? And then we go, 
deep but it's down, like yeah but deep mean, down the basis is we help each other out do you like, know just have you, talk, have you talked to Juan Carlos he's in the LCL team with me yeah but we haven't talked one on one in a while so um because I'm talking to have you talked to Mark Wagner who uh Mark He's a Facebook friend. We were in the Synergy group together, but we're, we, we're not in contact right now. Okay, so I was in a call with Juan Carlos and Mark Wednesday. Um, those two are now talking. They haven't met before. Um, lots of synchronicities that with 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 that. Um, there's other synchronicities around the CL and other other things a, a lot of it is Gino and, and not Gino. <laughs> and not Gino. The world is divided into Gino and not Gino. Yeah. It's like yin and yang. Okay. And then there is um where I'm I feel I'm heading towards is um I'm, I'm, I'm moving towards people who are connected to, to completely different worlds who have no idea what we're talking about and how to translate that. So for example, a guy that um, Darius is talking to who's a billionaire, who's got his visions for changing the earth, you know? And it's, it's, it's common. People who've got lots of money, who want to change things, but it, their their consciousness, their vision, their, it's not it's not particularly interesting. Or it's so it's, it's blockchain. Blockchain's it. We're going to change things in blockchain. It's like fucking hell. So how do I get in that? And then say no, just give that just give that guy a million. Yeah, just just give him it. Just, and, and I want to be the guy that they say, just, you know, just talk to Graham, he'll tell you what to do. That's why I want to, I want to be in that position because I'm tired of seeing people, I mean, there's so many people who've got amazing visions and ideas, they can see it, they grasp it, but I would not give them a thousand pounds because that would just oh gone so it's like you know if i gave half a million to those people even though they're brilliant ideas they just wouldn't do anything with it it, it would just they would dissolve it so it's how to get these I mean, pieces from the content which is to create something beautiful which until now very big players like microsoft or apple i mean how can you create an Apple iPhone? I mean, a, a, like 50 revolutionaries with great ideas could never do that. So that exists because of that architecture, Microsoft operating systems, you know, all this kind of stuff. To, to build things, you need a certain kind of mindset and a certain kind of way of doing things. So how does that happen in our world? You know? Take a look at, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, how many times do I got to tell you? I got an operating system that can organize any job, any organization, any community, and it builds the infrastructure to support all those. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's on their own are fucked because they lack, they, they don't have, you know, the, the accounting, the legal, the marketing, all the pieces of the puzzle, which an organization has independent genius inventors don't and the reason they fuck up is they're emotionally fucked up because they don't have healers around but i mean it, the whole idea of the shared knowledge community it builds this larger architecture brings together this diverse set of jobs that then acts as like a, a large project incubator for popping out you know the stuff that's going to be coming through so hang, hang on hang on a second i've got intuition hang on I'm going to ask him right now. Right, right, fucking now. Who's that? Mark Wagner. See if he's around. 
Are you right, Mark? Can you jump on a Zoom? Oh. He might be in another Zoom, but see if he's active right now. Mark is. Because Mark is. He's a big networker. He loves. He's one of the. For me, he's one of the most conscious people on this earth. Oh. If he. He doesn't sleep at all. He doesn't, doesn't, need, to, doesn't need to sleep. If he goes to bed, he's watching his body asleep. And he doesn't have to eat either. So he's got that sorted. But he's... If he was watching this, he might qualify what I've said with slight modifiers. But uh, he's, he's definitely on late. Anyway, because he has a broader perspective of all these I'm trying to find a way to describe this this is like people who I don't like 5d 4d 3d delineations you know non-duality blah 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 but basically there are people who are very quickly picking up and seeing it all but to actually connect with as I call it, Glasgow Jimmy, who's Jimmy in the pub in Glasgow, to say, hey, you know, there's one of the things is that everyday people in some way are picking this up as well, but they don't have an inner structure or mentality to even know how to think about it, talk about it, whatever. So they're just experiencing something's changing, but they don't have, you know, so they need some kind of support to that's not going to come from the government. It's not going to come from, uh, or where else would it come from? Their friends, their watching TV. It's not going to come from those sources to, and it's not going to come from Facebook either. So how do you create events, festivals, whatever? They go in and go, oh, that's that. That's that. That sort of visually represents what I'm feeling. Well, that's, I know about you guys, but West Coast Canada, the festival scene, and that's where most of the people were hanging in terms of, uh, let's say, consciousness raising medicines and very bright people, way ahead of most people, at least my generation. And they're into, you know, whether it's yoga or consciousness or, I mean, DMT, talking about their experiences feeling very affectionate, very loving, very sort of uh, friendly. Um, I think it does exist, but it exists in a make-believe world that gets, you know, just for a weekend, but they want it for the whole lifetime that we taste it, dance in the forest on, on mushrooms, right? And, you know, they're I think Facebook does do something. I mean, there is, whether it's Facebook memes, I, I wouldn't underestimate the power of seeing a thousand memes about consciousness in some way. That, sure. that actually, you know, it's like, it's like reading the newspaper, the headlines of the newspaper, right? And you're always saying, now it's just like, there's a different headline coming through. Something like TikTok, again, where they're not even watching any of the media for the people under over 30. And they're just, only media doesn't mean you know i'm not saying it's good but at least it's funny but i think i think what will happen is as as the virtual reality education programs turn to consciousness and again add in the medicines quick man i mean humans won't even understand how well, i think yeah i think the people flood towards the usual short-term ayahuasca at the weekend is mushrooms whatever it is they'll have an experience whatever but for me the the real work is the day-to-day -day living and the, you know that requires a consistent it's not, it's not like the socialization or weekending of of consciousness but it is the phasing it's a phasing for me 
Um, well, we, I mean, also, I mean, it just seems, everything I've seen is we need a, like again, like sort of small eco villages in the forest, like, like a true where you're growing your food, you're learning your skills, you're away from the city, you're integrated somewhat with technology, but there's a balance and you're living in nature. Without that, like, we, I, I just think we're in a psychotic, you know, aquarium where the fish are fighting about the best way to organize the aquarium when they don't even understand there's a freaking ocean over there and that's what you should be living kind of stuff. Like, it's that bad. Yeah. And so, whatever, I, I get it. Like, the normal people on the street, let's say, they're just in the same situation, group all the same kind of, you know, mass brainstorming. I mean, uh, brainwashing. So, you know, it just seems like such a, if you need to make, get smaller places and find the kids that are the, you know, get the kids to places where they can actually experience some new type of educational experiences. And I think, you know, more nature, more along what Steiner was talking about, you know, alternative curriculums. Because if you took, like, if I took the 100 people that I know and said, okay, your teacher's in the school, it would be a freaking amazing school. You know, there's a lot of people out there with beautiful knowledge. They're just not, they don't have, again, an infrastructure to work through that has what is necessary for people just to exist, right? I mean, if you're an independent contractor and you're a coach, you got to do all your accounting, you got to do all your marketing, you got to do all your legal stuff. You, you know, 70, 80% of your business is just the operations rather than direct connection to the services of what you're giving to people. So again, like we need an architecture that can, like it's a plug and play info tech where here's how you make 200 bucks an hour. Pop, just do what you're good at. Everything else will be taken care of. Because deep down, I don't give a flying fuck about that. The accounting, the legal, the marketing, anything else that isn't actually me doing what I want to do, I don't want to do it. But I spent 25 years designing fucking architecture so I don't have to do it. But guess what? You know, my life just disappeared down that rabbit hole of trying to figure out the best sacred geometry architecture for the mind and for business and for the world. And now, like I know, like whenever I show anyone anything now, it's like they're, huh. Uh, and I can just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, because I spent fucking all my time, 20,000 hours designing maps. And I feel like I've done it. Put me in front of anybody. Show me your plan. I'll show you mine. I can help you, but don't dismiss me because I fucking got something amazing. And one day, whether it's a billionaire or somebody, they're going to go here. And then they can build the communication room. You can build all the tools. Like I got so many fucking tools, William, that are great. And I use them for years and they always work. Always. Like divination is freaking amazing. Anyway. What do you think is missing? What's missing is, you know, I need fucking a graphic designer. I need uh, help to finish a business plan. I need a... Uh, three coders i need like i need probably 10 15 people to get the thing going and then fuck it'll, it'll pay for itself it's just i've been freaking funding this on my own by myself for, for so long that i you know i gave up trying to do anything else I just gave up. does the lcl world and all of that connected to that does that not help well it, it's it's the first thing that's giving me grounding and stability to go like they're actually going Hey, this is great. We're going to integrate it. We're going to use it as opposed to, eh, eh, you know, not even comprehending what I'm talking about. So do you know your students yet? Well, there's a, there's a, there's a disconnection in terms of there's 12 teams of 12 and I don't have access to them. They're not filming them. And I've asked, can I sit in on them? Cause I, I feel like it's, it's very far away and I don't feel like the way they're doing it is, Totally. That's why I bring in the chat room. Like there needs to be way more communication between the people, and and having a, a, a one and a half hour Zoom once a week, and then little videos, exercises that you do. I mean, it's it's great, but it's it's still very isolated. Yeah, because one of my friends is on the course. Mm. So, what did they, what's their feedback so far? Don't know. Haven't asked her. But I'll find out. I mean, the, the idea of going from 
personal development for the first three months, coherence for the next three months, and then collective intelligence for the next three months. And then in the first few months, like we're doing game keys, we're bringing some of the stuff that I have, we're bringing some stuff that Carlos has, and it's it's a very good curriculum. And and uh, Sophie and Olivia, who are the presenters, you know, they're very great speakers, very warm-hearted, very good hosts. I mean, they, they, they've done something I think very, very good. But again, it's kind of like this is a puzzle. This is the first time. It's like a whole year, and there's all things that come out. It's because you think you got it, it doesn't mean you got it. And uh, but it's it's the first group of people I've been able to stay long enough to actually implement some of the stuff I got. And I just said along the way I said I, I gotta I you know, I gotta get past my my shadow of disassociation when I don't feel I'm being listened to. But they're listening like they, they they're really paying attention, and they've gone through like a six month process of really you know well, what do you got okay how can we use it. What, missing and you know, they're being intelligent in terms of utilizing the knowledge that has come into them and uh it's again it's it's really like it's the beginning of, of me getting stable enough to kind of okay is it, you know i just had a really big sort of fuck you to society in my background and, and to the everything i just i've been treated a certain way and i haven't liked it and I know, you know, of course, I'm responsible for it, but there's also, uh, you know, this old paradigm methodology of when something new comes in, they just attack. And after a while, you just get tired of the constant, you know, my stupidity. Yeah. You know, I mean, this whole system is put in place by who controls the conversation. Now, that's at the essence of human control mechanism. You can tell they set up the conversations in all these different ways, and you know, stupidity is is uh, intensified by those structures that just keep things in place. So I mean, if you you got to build a whole new thing, just like Bucky said, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Was, Here's another one of them. How's how's Gregory? What's that? How's Gregory? Oh shit! You don't happen. He he's on a he was on a roll. And he's giving me all these emails and all this information's coming in, and all of a sudden it's just it's pouring. And all of a sudden I just went, I shut down, and and then he kept going. <laughs> And then I, I sort of sit and wait and watch to see what the person notices that I'm not participating anymore. And then it just keeps going on and on. I just keep fading back and forth. And I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm waiting for that. <laughs> hey man, where, where'd you go? But it's not coming. And so then there, then he's probably going at what this guy, he's disappeared thing. And, <laughs> and then you're like 20 miles away going, hey. <laughs> and I'm watching and I know it's my pattern, right? Like I should say, hey, Gregory, I got a little overwhelmed. You know, I seem shut down. Uh, maybe we need to talk a bit. But I'm not. I can I can imagine. Well, I think it's like when someone is like we get enthralled with their own ideas, but it's like it's like when we lose rapport with the person, that moment where the other person goes, you know, I don't feel like getting talked on, and so you just I think we all sort of back up a bit and we're just seeing does the person notice and if the person doesn't notice then it's just like okay well, I don't want to participate anymore I want to be with someone who notices you're sitting there going I'm not listening anymore and I go yeah yeah <laughs> Have you, I, I was at a party and some woman was bashing me and I started using physical sort of, you know, I, 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 was, I was, I just kept scrolling up more and more to defend myself from her onslaught and she didn't freaking notice. She wouldn't stop. She just kind of leaned forward more. And she's pounding in and, and, and you know, what the fuck? And then, then of course I go nuts. <laughs> the line is crossed. You want to see bad? I'll show you bad. Rah! 
Yeah, lack of lack of awareness. Comedy. Do you probably be tired going to bed? I'm worked up now. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not sure. I'm, I just want to change my background. Is it? Uh, let's have. Here we go. It's a nice one. There you go. Yeah, I'll change mine. Ah, I got so many pictures in here that it takes a long time to change. There, I think it's either would that be my memory or the memory of the software program. I think it's your laptop. Like mine, I've I've only got like fifteen pictures. Oh, because I got like about two hundred. I think. Huh? I love it. I mean, it's it's my favorite. Either are. Where is it? Where's the book? Give me a second. I think and I've showed you it before. So Robert Anton Wilson, who talks a lot about reality tunnels. So every single person is in their own reality tunnel, like experiences reality in one way. And people who've got lots of money or a certain comfortable position, you know, they see anybody else is there. You know, we haven't got to that felt sense of unity yet. You know, even though we can talk about it, unity consciousness, non-duality, we're all one. Yeah, okay, nice. But we don't actually experience that in rap. Because if you if we did, we'd say, okay, what do you need? Your money? There's money. Done. Do you want that? Done. We would sort it out. It would it would it would become an equilibrium. So it, it's still coming in for me. Mm. Um and I find that I'm right now having to be very, very patient with listening deeply and, okay, these people have come into my life, two people specifically. There's a very warm feeling. There's an, an attitude, we're going to do something. There's money there. And I have to just wait. <laughs> I, can't, I can't force, I can't do anything. I can't push them to say, hey, they're saying, hey, in its own time. I can't, I just have to wait. Nothing I can do. Well, I mean, you might, you might ask. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just. It's very clear because I'm very, very conscious that they are both in the processes, and we have to wait, and it'll be next week or whatever, and things will happen. But it, it's like. If I start to push, 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 it's that's very, very no, Bad that's ball. no, thank you. You're too, you're too needy. That's why I don't have money. We too, we have lots of money because we're relaxed. We've done all sorts of things. You don't know how to play the game. Yeah. That game, game me. I say I'm not playing game me. I want to try to play not even game B and try to create this. Yeah. And that requires a very different way of being. And that needs to be funded. It's not as if it's you can't earn your way into that. It has, that has to be funded. You have, to, you have to buy land. You have to create eco villages. You have, that that requires a very different uh, mindset completely. Well, and I, <clears throat> I think perhaps one of the big things, like if I look at what I've been through. Um, you know, the, again, there's certain people who, you know, they, they, they've never had no money for gas or, or they, they can't, they've never been in a position where they couldn't afford a coffee kind of thing. And when, you're, <clears throat> when you're in that state, you think different. Like I had this building in Victoria and, and they, they were having these meetings at City Hall and everyone was at a 10 or 12 people about trying to deal with homelessness, all probably making over 75 grand a year or whatever, sitting in a room. And then at, at the place I had, there was like 20 homeless people all, you know, making nothing, trying to figure out how to get out of poverty. And, and those two were never meeting. They were never coming into the same room to discuss things. And when you know, people were trying to figure out who had the money or had something, you, know, you, you can't even comprehend what it's like, you know, how hard it can be to get no one, right? If you have nothing and you're screwed. And we did a, a harmonizer 
where we had a couple of city council, we had a couple of homeless people. One an advocate, a little bit different from your average person kind of thing. We sat them around, did a divination, and had a card set that was all homelessness solutions, all of the solutions you could possibly have. You put on some list, put them in the card set, you did a thing, did a, a meeting. It was a great conversation. And that one of the late, the one of the ladies who was like the homeless advocate said it was the first time that I felt that it was a level playing field. And I think that the idea of the game boards and bringing different people from different perspectives, using divination as a methodology to sort of look at something new, like I just haven't seen anything like it ever. The, the type of conversations that can take place when you when you do that. Mark Wagner is about to join us, maybe. Okay. That'd be interesting. <laughs> <laughs>